Hi, this is Benso from bestqsystems.com. Obviously, under this video tutorial, I'm going to teach you on how to use OOP to log in users and Ajax programming to log in users. This is going to be OOP PHP and of course some Ajax to log in the users. Uh, obviously, right now I don't have much. I only have this markup for the index.php. Uh, we are going to have uh, uh, other files. Right, we are going to have a new file that we are going to create and we are going to save this inside our local web in a folder called OOP I am going to create a class a class folder this class is where I am going to save all my classes for the system in fact I should call it classes uh, so now here is where I am going to save my first file called user dot class dot php this class is going to contain all the details about the users. I'm also going to have another one for connection to the database and I'm going to save this as um, db.class.php Okay, so from that I'm also going to create a new file for our CSS and I'm going to save this in our OOP folder and I'm going to call these styles. Inside the styles, this is where I'm going to save all my uh, CSS files. I'm also going to create the JavaScript. I'm going to call it JS or scripts. Scripts folder where I'm going to save all my scripts. And finally, I'm also going to have Ajax operations folder. Sorry, Ajax operation operations ajax operation this is where all the instantiation of the classes is going to take place so having all that structures in mind now we are going to go ahead and start and start developing our first uh, and start developing our index.php and of course create the required uh, the required details so what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to have a href, oops, let me just first of all have div id equals to content. And here I'm going to close the div. Inside here I'm going to have div id equals to, okay, let me just have header. And uh, now here I'm going to have div id equals to content. Content like that. And then I'm going to close this div. Then finally, I might have footer if I wish. For this video tutorial, it's just creating the UI for the video. So now let's go to the CSS and create uh, the UI for this. The first thing that we can do, we can just say lang equals to uh, n us. And um, we also need some meta tag here, meta HR set, character set is equals to UTF8, now having that I think uh, now we can go to our CSS file, our CSS file and save this in the styles and call it main CSS. Uh, let's just program for the body and you're going to say margin to be zero, padding, sorry, padding to be zero, yeah, padding to be zero, and also background to be gray, yeah, something like that. We're gonna go to our page and see what we have on the moment. So we are looking for the localhost for the localhost OOP folder. That's where we are. Uh, we need to include the CSS file in our index. So we are just going to say link rel equals to style sheet type equals to text stroke CSS. And href equals to uh, two styles. Two styles main dot CSS. 
let's just see so we have it there so the next thing we need in the main CSS is to program for the header deep hash header so background to be nothing color to be white oh sorry text align to be center width to be 100% uh, height to be 50 pixel and of course a padding of 0 at the top and of course 10 on both sides right so we are having our header here and uh, we're gonna see it there uh, so the next part we need to program is div hash content div hash content and we're gonna say background to be white uh, color to be okay so we don't need to program for the color all we need to do is width to be 720 pixel a height of uh, 300 pixel and of course this one gonna be mean height of 300 pixel because we might want to extend and uh, we should also be having a margin to be zero or alto you don't need to say zero pixel because zero is zero whether it's percentage or whether it's pixel zero is just zero let's just see what we have uh, right now we are having something like this on dot okay uh, so that's all we have at the moment so uh, what we are going to do now we are going to program for the for the form let's create the form the login form so that we can allow the users to login the first of all we are going to open the login form so I'm going to say when dealing with Ajax we don't need to create the form tag something like this actually goes to something no I'm not going to do that I'm just going to go direct to input type equals to email let's allow the user to enter email mm. and uh, now we should also be having size equal to 30 id equals to email uh, something like that so let me break the line couple of times great so that i should have input type equals to equals to password i'm sorry equals to password size to be 30 and also id equals to password oh, sorry password and of course i can just have some placeholder place placeholder equals to So I have that and now I can also create a placeholder here. Uh, enter email to log in. Uh, the next thing I'm going to break the line a couple of times. So BR BR. So now uh, I should put the button. I'm going to say button ID equals to login. Yeah, so button. And on the dot, I have something like this. On, oops, I'm sorry. So I should say login. Uh, so that on dot, I have something like this. I have email there. I have login button so uh, the only thing I can do for this form is to give the in middle CSS I give the content some uh, padding like padding of 20 pixel so this depends on how you you can design your file so now it's clear so in the next video tutorial we are going to go direct to creation of the system goodbye let's meet the next video tutorial